Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Stappenback17, and I have found out what I was doing wrong in yesterday's episode. You probably have already told me what I was doing wrong in yesterday's episode, but I've now figured it out. And as many of you know, I don't actually uh, see any comments, um, because the first video goes live after I have finished recording all of the week's episodes, so I don't actually get to see any of it. But yes, I was trying to buy the cattle yard, and I wasn't able to do it. I couldn't figure it out. It was it was being very strange. It wouldn't let me buy it, and I was trying to name it, because I thought they had to name it, and it wouldn't work, and I was very confused, and I didn't like it, and yeah, generally it was an unpleasant experience all round. So we are going to jump here to the cattle yard, and I will show you what I was doing wrong. Before I do that, though, let us go to uh, Alt- S like that actually there's one other thing I want to do if you go to alt F like that so it's the uh, left alt button and then F and that brings up the forecast underneath so we want to keep the forecast now at the moment as you can see we are on quite a lot of days uh, so if I go alt S that gives us our options here season length nine days I don't want that I'm going to take it all the way down to three days per season length. So we get one transition per day. And so it's going to, like, boost on the... I'm just wondering if we ought to go for that two. No, we'll, we'll go for three days. We'll keep this right down as low as it can go. The rest of it, we're just going to keep like this. Um, but, yeah, the reason I want to do that is because I want to be able to speed things along a little bit. We don't want to be hanging around. I was considering doing just one season on this map, but I'm now thinking that maybe we should do more than one season. It'll make it a little bit more interesting. So, we came down here, and I thought that you had to go and buy it. Uh, you had to name it to be able to buy it. So we press R to look in here, and I, I tried putting something in there. I've tried putting a name in there. I tried just going pay doesn't work paid up versus cost if you see at the bottom there paid up versus cost at the moment it says zero uh slash six hundred and eighty thousand euros if i go r here to pay and then i click in the box and instead of typing a name to name the farm which i thought mistakenly is what you did you don't do that at all pay i've now paid 100 out of the six hundred and eighty thousand to pay so if i now go in there and i pay some more and this time we're going to go 680,000, isn't it? So we want 679,900 to make up the rest. And then I go pay. It's now ours. We have the cattle yard. This is all ours now. We have bought it for the 680,000 euros that it cost to buy it. And we're able to start doing cows. And this is how... You, this, that's, so that's how it works. And... and I, I didn't know that. I, di I didn't have a clue. I was very confused, and uh, now, now all has become clear. All makes sense. We've got a shed over there. We've got another shed down here, and I think this is... Um, it's just That's a big storage barn that we've got there. And then back up through here, we've got grain. Is this grain that can be stored here? Let's go F1 on it. Uh, farm silo system. Now, I'm not sure what farm silo that is, whether that's grains or whether there's something else. Uh, if I go O, activate farm... Ah, yes, it is grains. You've got to turn the thing on, and it is grain storage up here. So, I don't know why we would want grain storage here for the cows, unless there is another aspect to the cows here that I'm not yet aware of that allows us to do something with grain storage. Now, we've got another thing over here. This one is on. That's, um... It looks like just more grain storage, to be honest. Not really sure. I'm keeping the hired help thing on at the moment, so I can just sort of see what's going on. Can we climb up there? No, we can't. And then we've got some barns here, some with, uh, you know, uh, machinery barns here. And then the actual cattle yards in here. So we don't have any cows at the moment. None of those, but we are able to go and buy some cows if we want. And we can put them here in the pasture. So right here, uh, purchase water fill point. Really? Water fill point. Five th Would you like to pay 5000 to install a new pipeline to allow direct filling of the cow water drop? <gasps> oh! Oh! Would I like to pay $5,000 to install a new pipeline? 
Oh, this is so beautiful. The local plumber will arrive at 7 to install your new tech farm fill system. Installation will be complete at 1500. Oh, that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. We've got a system that automatically fills the water trough. That is absolutely hands down the best modification to any map I have ever seen. Hands down the absolute best. There are that there is nothing I have seen on any map ever that can compare to automatically filling the water trough. That is just fanschmastic. It, it's beautiful. It's it's like poetry in motion. It's wonderful. So anyway, I'm not getting hang, I'm not getting hung up today with the. Oh, there's another thing that I want to show you. There's one more thing that I want to show you, and I think I can see it. Where can I see it? I think I might be able to see it up here somewhere. Now I went and had a look. Oh, it's it's right here. Look. If I go to field four, you'll be able to see... Yes, there it is. Right, now, you go to this one and you purchase farm... You know, purchase field right there. And then that's for purchase field. There. This here, look at that. Combine fields. I become a big fan. New... 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 Blah, 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 blah. The municipality allows you, against a little payment, to combine the closely spaced field. Pay 20 grand and you're allowed to combine the fields. So you've actually got to pay out to be able to combine fields. This is so... Awesome! This map is amazing! I, I, I'm seriously regretting not playing this map before. I mean, so many people suggested it and said, you know what, Frith, I think you'd really like Stappenbach. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, you, you can line up now and say I told you so, because this is just incredible. That is such an awesome little detail that was. That was just brilliant. Right, I've got field 80 and i got field 113 over here. And... We don't start out owning any fields. We don't own any fields at all. I'd like to get some more. I'd like to get some stuff here around the cows. And then I'd like to get some grains planted. And what I'm thinking is we'll plant grains now. And then we can fast forward time a little bit. And then we can do some harvesting and stuff. And we can... Uh, so we might not do winter on this one. But I'd like to do later summer and so on. So that we can get some... Um, get some um what's the word i'm looking for uh get some get some crops in i'd like to get crops in and i'd also like to get some grass done as well so that we can get some hay and get all of those jobs done for the farm and get you know so the cows are in there now we can do a job on here i've no intention of doing any jobs i'm just going to buy the field right there so we've bought that one there and then there's another one over here field 108 which i want to buy and we'll grab that one right there. No mission at the moment. Um, we will... Although usually, from what I've found, is if you just keep going in and out, back, and then go again, it's to do with the tractor and the sea drill is trying to get you. And because I've got the big bud equipment active on this map, it's probably trying to do it with the big bud equipment because of the size of the field. But there's not enough room to put the big bud equipment here, so it's just saying there's no mission available, which means that chances are... Oh, I, I can get that one. I can get the Australia in there. But, um, yeah, chances are it's you, you're going to struggle to find a mission there that's actually available. So we get another quarter of a million there. We'll buy that one. Now, I know I said that the backstory was that I was going to be working with, you know, I sort of come from the um, from Agco. And we were going to be using Agco to do all of our stuff. But, uh, yeah, we'll just buy that one. Um, we don't have any fields to start out with, so we will just buy a few fields now so that we can sort of have a starting point. And we've still got quite a chunk of money that we can use for things later on. Now, it doesn't look like we're allowed to combine this one here. So it looks like there are only certain points on the map where you're allowed to combine fields to make bigger fields. And I would guess sort of maybe some along those lines there. Um, some of the other ones in other places. But I do want to get field 77 over here. Because this is a grass field, and I would like a grass field, so we will buy that one. Uh, buy that one right there. Now, this field here has got trees, and now there's a hedgerow in the middle. I don't know if there's anything we can do about getting rid of that. This, I mean, this looks like it's a different field down here. It looks like it's part of field 76. It is. So we've got field 76 there, and we'd have to... I don't... No, if we could remove... I know that they did do that on Garala. We were able to remove the hedgerows, weren't we? But let's get this field here. We'll buy that one. Um, there's another 70 grand. So I got field 76, and I got the next one as well. Is there any more 
signs to say that we can like remove the the boundary between the two fields doesn't look like we've got anything extra but i mean maybe there is maybe there is something somewhere I, I don't really know but i think that's probably good to be going on with so we've got a nice bit of grass up around there and field 77 and i would of course like to get some of the meadows down here i'd really like that so we're gonna go down here i think field 40 might be a convenient one to reach let's just yeah so we can get onto the road and you've also got the ability to join the two fields right there if we want to do that. So we'll buy that field there, which is field 40. And then field 42 is over that side. Uh, I need to actually go to field 42. is all the way down that end over there. Buy that one. Uh, nope, nope, back. That one there. Buy that one. So there's 100,000 there. And then I've got field 41, which is here, which is over the other side of the river. But I don't think we need to worry about field 41. Field 40 and 42, yeah, it's just a big, long, thin field there. This, these fields over here, though, I'd quite like the, I like the idea of combining them. We're going to just test this one and see what it's like when we combine them and see what happens. We've only got 1.2 million left. So we go here and we go R to pay. And then you've got to pay 20,000. So we've got to enter in 20,000 on here to get this right. Uh, 2020 grand to do that there we go and it removes the whole section up through the middle it gives you a proper big field that is so cool that is awesome so we got those two there joined together so we've got a decent patch of grass down there and i am just wondering about doing this because you've got like this track that comes in here to get to this field and i think it just might be fun to try and have play around with that one so we'll buy that field right there as well so there's another 65,000 that we've just spent. And it's up against our field that we've got right there. We've got that land over there. Have we got a bridge anywhere along here that gets to that point? I don't think we do. I mean, there's, there is a crossing here that maybe we could use for some small machines. But you wouldn't be able to get in and out of there with any bigger machinery, I don't think. I think you'd have a bit of a struggle there. So, but anyway, we've, we've got these. So we've got these fields here. And I think that's enough to be going on with. We've got those over there. We've got these here. We've got grass fields. And we've got bigger grass fields down here. Which I think would be enough to keep our cattle going. Now, I'm not buying cattle yet. What I want to do first um, today... Let me just get rid of the, high, uh, the screen thing there. So we've got a New Holland TC5 there. Uh, TC5, TC5. Lizard Transit, Transit, Transit. And then another TC5. Right, we've got a Sammy Fortis in here. Which is a big-ish tractor. Uh, another one in here, and Fortis, Fortis, Zeta, Forteras as well, and then back to a uh, Lizard Transit. So we've got Sammy and, um, what was it, Zeta? We've got Sammy and, Sammy and Zeta at the moment. We don't have anything else. I've got a plow on there. So what I'm going to do first, is I'm going to start this tractor up. Now... I'm saying that if, you know, from this point, we've got some land. The farmer has got these fattening units, and we will come and have a look at these later on. We're not going to worry about those right now. I'd like to look at them, but, um, yeah, I would figure it's probably better if we do that a little bit later and focus on some of the other stuff first. We've only got 12 episodes. We've got another 11 episodes to get through this map um, and really have a good look at it and see everything that we can see. So we're going to take this bad boy right here. I'm going to hitch on that plow. And out I come. And I am going to have to just shuffle around a little bit. And then I'm going to fold that plow so that I can get out of here. Or I'm not getting out of this shed at all. There we go. Right. We're going to take this one up. And we're going to start plowing one of those fields that we own. If you have a look at the map here a minute, we've got up here this is all harvested we need to do something with these fields here the grass fields aren't plowed we're not going to worry about that we're just going to leave them but nothing's been plowed i want to do some plowing so we're going to get started with some plowing with this one but then once we've done that uh, once this one's started i'm not going to just do the other plows is that is that oh it's in there i don't think that is i don't think that's anything to do with us we've got the compost master in there that we can go and buy if we want um, and I'd like to do that. I'd like to take a look at that machine. Um, well, I need to keep going this way, I think, towards where the cows are. Because, yeah, we've got our cows here. And then... Actually, I think to get into our field... Field 109 is one that I'm going to start ploughing. 
We need to go up here, so we need to just pull off the side of the road to let the cars come through. Um, yeah, that's where we need to go. We need to go up that track up the side up there. Um, yeah, I want to get a bigger tractor and a bigger plough to do one of the other fields. Now, actually looking at this, I'm thinking a field 109 is a bit big for this plough. Maybe we ought to consider setting this tractor going on field 78 over there and right I see we can go back down through the road it doesn't really matter that we're going across the field I think that's actually quite acceptable I am curious if we've got um, multi-angle terrain on this map or if it's just standard angle terrain we will find out in just a moment I'm going to bring this one over here and I'm going to start it ploughing Sort of across the line over here. And I'm hoping that those trees aren't going to confuse it. Because it, it could get confused and confuddled. If it's anything like me, it probably will. Uh, so we'll put that one there. And I don't want the AI vehicle extension on this. So I want that on normal. So we'll do that. And then we'll press H and we'll see what it does. Which way is it going to go? That does actually look like it's multi-angle terrain working on that. And it's got good textures as well. Remember now, it's it's got completely different textures on everything. Let that one back up. I'm just gonna we're just gonna sort of see how this does to start with, and see what it does, see sort of how it performs, and so on. Um, we're gonna get, like I said, we're gonna get a different plow and a different tractor to start working on some of the other fields. I'll probably use Old Faithful, and for me, Old Faithful is this one in here. That Lemkin plow right there. The only thing I don't like about it is when you've got it as wide as it can go, it does drive, the hired help tends to drive a long way up the field in order to get it to sort of go to the correct point before it reverses back and starts plowing again. And that does slow it down quite a bit. Um, that one there is a five meter plow. This one's a 10 meter plow. That is a monster plow. But I really, I think that might be a little bit too big for this map. Um, it also requires 550 horsepower to pull it, and I don't have 550 horsepower. We could use the Salford, but I'm not a fan of the Salford. Many of you already know that I'm not a fan of the Salford. I, just, I, I don't know why, I just don't particularly like it. The tractor that I'm going to be using to go on our Lemkin plow is... I'm not going to tell you yet, but it's one that I think that you will approve of for this map. I, I'm pretty certain that you will approve of me using that plow for this map. So let's just see this one going again and admire some of this texture and stuff and so you got the flat textures on the ground you don't have any additional textures um on the plow which is a really good thing because that can really impact performance especially on lower end machines um it really does affect performance so there's nothing been added to the machine animation or anything like that it's just a different texture for the actual plowed ground and I really like that texture. That is a really, really good texture on that plough ground. It, it looks quite pleasing to the eye. Um, anyway, we, we, we've done enough of this. So let us go... Where are we going to go? Let's, let's go and find one of the um, transits a minute. Which one is this? The red transit. We'll go with this one. And now I've got to try and find the shop. This might be easier said than done. We've got a little tiny village here. Well... I say village, this is actually a town. This is a full-blown town. We've got a town here with a lot of small roads and everything. And I don't know my way round, and I don't speak German. So um, asking anybody here is not really going to be beneficial to me in any way because I won't be able to understand what they're saying. And I mean, to be honest, a lot of people do speak um, English in mainland Europe. So they could possibly understand what I'm saying. But I mean, it does, it does depend. We may be able to communicate... Probably we won't, uh, so we, we just got to guess. But anyway, it wasn't very difficult to find, was it? We, even even we managed to cope with this. So let's just park this bad boy in here like this, and we come round. Let's take a look. We've got the money tree over there. There is the money tree. See, it says right there, cash. Well, cash. There we go. Right, and in here we've got us fuel in there, and. I'm guessing this is the workshop. You can come in there and you can get stuff repaired and so on. But we want to go to this one. 
And first up, we're going to buy our plow. There is our plow. Let's select and buy that one, 59,000 euros. That is the plow that we're going to be using for doing our bits and bobs. And then we're going to go and have a look at the tractors. Now, this is the one that you've all been waiting for. A lot of people have been telling me that I should be using Fentz if I'm in Germany. A lot more people have been telling me I should be using Deutz if I'm in Germany. And then a number of people have also been telling me on top of Fent and Deutz, I should also be using one of these bad boys over here. The class tractor. Now that one's 205 horsepower. That one there is 320. We got the class Zerian there at 435 horsepower. And we've also got the Zerian saddle track over here at 435 horsepower. Now that one doesn't have any options on it. This one here does have a bigger engine setup. We go to 530. So we could actually get this tractor here and put the big plow on it which i didn't actually realize but i wanted to use the saddle track main color is our green and rim color is red we're just going with that buy for three hundred and eighty-five thousand. that is a lot of money we are we've actually used up a fair chunk of our money now because we had to go and buy all our fields but we got the saddle track we got this thing look at that that is an absolute beast of a tractor Let's have a look at the options that we got. Right, we've got helper settings, and I don't want that all-wheel steering. Um, change cruise control. There, there doesn't seem so. Yeah, we've got the all-wheel steering on this one. And that's left control Y. I'm not sure what steering modes this one has. I'm also not sure what options this tractor has with it, whether it's um, what other thing. We've got space here for... Um, if I, let me go in cab a minute. Ah, there we go. Oh, just press and hold. Ah, right, so we go here, menu. Oh, I see, you can just click through that and you can turn that one on and off. Menu there, so you've got some different screens on that. Uh, there's nothing up there, we've got the window that can open there. Uh, that's really about it, you've got the horn on there. Oh no, I see, you put, that, you put the handle back in place. Right, let's come out of cab, you know what I feel about driving in cab. Um, the unfortunate, so uh, left control Y for steering that is front wheel steering only like that and then left control y is crab steering left except it doesn't seem to be crab steering properly it seems to just want to be crabbing anyway okay i'm not sure that one is working entirely correctly but the, um, the crab steering is good, and I really like the look of this tractor anyway. It's just the appearance of this tractor is absolutely awesome. I don't know. If you, I think we probably do need a front weight for this tractor, don't we? We probably do actually need a front weight for it because it's... The, we got that plow. I know the plow is trailed and the tractor is big, but we could still do with the weight. So, um, obviously, we want to have... Uh, sensible. We, we don't want to have anything ridiculous and comical or anything like that. We're, we're not interested in comic effect. We want a serious, sensible front weight for our serious and sensible tractor. So we're going to go for a minion. That's the only. That's the only real option. Is a minion. It has. To, it just has to be. There is. There is no other choice in the matter. We have to have a minion. There we go. Right. Let's bring that one on round. Uh i got to get to my farm now. I don't think I want to... Oh, actually, or do I want to go that way? No, I don't. I don't want to go that way. I need to come out this way. It's a good job we got the four-wheel steering. Look at that. Now, in the UK, as far as I know, if you've got the option to turn off four-wheel steering on any machine that has it, you are required to turn off four-wheel steering by law. And... If you don't, uh, you can get into a spot of bother because it, it's too sensitive on the roads. I'm not 100% certain if that is true or not. I was told this at a place that I used to work on. It may have just been the farm manager there who was being overly cautious, but there may have been some truth to it as well. So I'm not entirely certain on that one. If anybody in the UK does actually know this, uh, please let me know. And also anybody elsewhere in Europe... Does anyone else know if this is true or if it's just someone who is getting a little bit overcautious and, and, and um, just a, a little bit too cautious on everything um, and not wanting to take any chances with his employees? Right, the brakes are a little bit dull on this one. 
I, I stamped on the brakes and he, he went sailing off up the road by quite a way. But we're going to go up this way and then we're going to go up to field 109. We're going to start that one ploughing with this class Zerian right here. If I'm going, yes, I am. I need to go through here, come round the yard like this, and then that's it. We want to go up that way, come on round through there, and then we come up into the field. Excellent. And as soon as we get up here, we'll start unfolding this plough now. I think. No, it, it would help if I actually had the plough selected. Uh, yes, there's no options on the tractor. You can't, like, turn the cab around or anything like that. Um, you can with some... I don't know if it's one of these. I don't know if it's one of these where the cab actually physically moves on the tractor or if I'm thinking of a different type of tractor. I'm pretty sure it's class, but, uh, yeah, it could be a different type. Right, if I was to leave the plough like that, it would be fine. If I swivel it round like this... It, um, actually, I think I want to go that way. I'm just, uh, I'm just looking at this a minute. Because if I do that, it makes it much narrower. Making it wider like this, it takes a bit longer for it to be able to turn on the headland. It does a strange thing where it drives halfway across the field in order to be able to do the headland. And I'm not really sure why it does it, but it does. And there's not really a lot that we can do about it. So we, we won't worry about it too much. I'm going to bring that one over to there. That's going to be our starting off point right there. Control H, and I won't use the AI vehicle extension for plowing. And I'm just going to press H, and we're going to see what this can do. So away he goes. And this could be interesting, depending on where he's going to try and turn around. Right. So we've got some short work to start with, so that we can actually see how well it can cope with the, t um, with the turning, with the corners... Um, and how well the lady up here who is driving it is able to control this beast of a truck. I mean, this tractor looks absolutely fantastic. It really does. But now that we know that the other one, I think the other one has just enough horsepower to be able to pull that big plow. Look, this is what I mean. See? It drives all this distance because it's trying to straighten out the plow. And that's the one bit that I don't like about the Lemkin. But I think that's because I've adjusted it. If I was to move it back a little bit. In theory, I suppose, it wouldn't do that. I've never actually tested that. And I don't want to test it right now because uh, I might be completely wrong and then I'll forever be disappointed that I thought I'd solved this mystery and then I, I realise that I haven't. I'll just let that one come up. Let that turn. I'm, you know, I'm going to leave that one go for a minute. We're just going to let that one carry on running. And this one over here, we'll go and check on the ploughing that's taking place over here. Once the ploughing is done, we will rip through with the cultivators fast, and I, I, yeah, we can do the cultivating. We we can do cultivating. We'll we'll go through with cultivators on here. We'll probably get some big cultivators running here somewhere, and we can rip through with those. And then once that's done, we can then go through and um, get some planting done. I will do wheat, and I will do barley, and I'm not sure what else I'm going to do. I mean, what other crops have we got? At the moment, we don't have any other crops on here. So we, we've got standard crops on here. So I'm thinking wheat and barley and not anything else. I'm thinking those two. We do, we'll do these three fields here. We won't worry about those two over that side. We'll get these three here done. And then we can get some crops on them. And that means that's going to give us some straw later in the year. I mean, we can always go and buy some straw for the cows. But what I was actually wanting to do was get all of this planted, then fast forward to the beginning of summer, then buy the cows. We can get that. By that time, we'll have some grass. We can get some grass off of here. We can get some more over there. And maybe we could do one of these fields as whole crop silage and then harvest the other two. Uh, so we've got silage for the cows as well. We should be able to do all of that and... We are going to have to just focus on one animal on here, and we sort of do it like that. But the more I look at this map, the more I think that if this map is converted over to FS19, um, I'm very likely to do a time lapse episode, a time lapse series on this map. The first time lapse series will be on a base game map. That um, that's just something that's going to happen. But yeah, the, the next one, I'm I'm quite willing to do something different with that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what comes up. I think. So let's just go through all of the machines now. Uh, there we go. I wanted to go to this one, and let's see what money we, we've only got. Seven hundred and fifty thousand uh, euros left. But because we're playing on seasons, we can take out a huge loan if we need to. 
Now, I think that part of the reason, because, you know, this farmer was one who won the competition and he wasn't able to, you know, he's, um, he's, he's been struggling to make money. And so because he's won the competition, we've come along and we're helping him out with some stuff and like giving him some guidance on making his farm more profitable and so on. I think one of the reasons that his farm wasn't very profitable was because he didn't have any land. Um, so I, I think we've sort of, we've, we've ripped through slatted moldboards. We'll go universals at 130 grand for a plow. Good gravy, man. We'll lease that one because we're only going to do one field with it. I probably should have leased the tractor as well. Um, oh, we need a weight. We, we need a front weight. Um, so yeah, th this farmer, well, I mean, now that we've established that potentially one of the reasons he wasn't doing so well was because he didn't have any land. Uh, may, and he didn't have any, you know, any, any cattle. or no, All he had, really, was some sheds and some tractors. That's probably not going to, like, make his place run really well, is it? I reckon that we've sort of gotten to the root of the problem already. So anything else that we do is just a happy bonus for him, and he's going to be really pleased. I like this. I do. I like this tractor. Because I thought that it was an articulated one, but it's not an articulated one. All-wheel steering, stop engine. I wonder if this is made by the same people that made the other one and they've just, like, um, done slightly different on the top. No, I absolutely don't mind. I think that is absolutely brilliant. This, it, it, I, I like this tractor. I do. And this is a 530 horsepower tractor. Now, it said that the plough requires... How much? Let's have a look. It said that the plough requires uh, 550 horsepower, 405 kilowatts. And if we go and have a look at the tractor that we've just bought... That was right there, 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 39530. So we're slightly underpowered. I'm hoping that it's not going to be one of those things where it says uh, you, your machine doesn't have enough power to operate this. Um, go and take a hike. Because they do sometimes, don't they? they? They just say, right, get lost. You ain't having that on there. And we all know that the tractors can usually do it, even if it's not quite as, as good as it could be. My biggest concern, of course, is I'm in a small German town um, right in the middle of the European countryside and there's a lot of small twisty roads in the European countryside. You know, much the same as the UK, really. So how am I going to get a 10 and a half meter standard style plow around these roads and to my fields? This is an actual genuine concern. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it. So let's see, is it going to fit? Uh, oops, nope, I, I, I didn't actually mean to do that. That's, that's probably not a good start. Let's put our, let's put our beacons on a minute. I'm going to come around like that. If I, if I go right around the edge, you know, I'll tell you what, I think we might. We might just be able to do it. Oh, 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 that, you stay there, buddy, you stay there. I want to come through here. I can't go up that way. There's no way I'm getting around that corner. That's just not going to happen. But we might be able to get around this corner up here. If we... Ooh. i tell you what. Even this corner is going to be difficult. We might have to go out the village, turn round, and then come back in the other way. I genuinely don't know. Oh, actually, we, no, we might. We might. We might just... Yes. The tail end of the plough did swing out and almost catch the fence behind us, but it didn't quite... It just missed. By just a fraction of a millimetre, it missed. Now, we're not going to play around by going up to the road. Well, now, we've, now that I say that, I think we should. I think we should carry on up here and we'll go on to the next one. We will go right up the road towards where the next one is. We're just going to have to go round the other uh, drivers. The one thing, I'll tell you what. I can already see, if I'm doing a time lapse on this map, the one thing that's really going to bug me is these trees here. Because in order to be able to drive here when there's leaves, I have to come down here like this to see what I'm doing. And that really is irritating when I'm trying to do a time lapse recording. It, it's genuinely, genuinely frustrating for me. Um, having to constantly zoom in and out when I'm moving around. So one of the first things I'd do is probably chop off all the trees that are near the road over there. Um, and that is why a lot of you do comment that I chop out an awful lot of trees when I'm doing my time lapses. That's why. is because I don't like having to constantly um, spam the camera in and out all the time in order to be able to see where I'm going. And um, so, yeah, I, I like to get rid of the trees pretty quick. Now, we've got that one there. So if I flip this one over a minute... There we go, that goes in like that. And then it turns there, and then it 
uh, pushes out going the other way. This is some plow this is, isn't it? Look at this thing. It's a monster. It is an absolute monster. I'm going to bring this monster all the way back to here. I think that maybe, just maybe, this plow is a little bit too big for this map. We'll take that one there. And we go like that. And then I will press H. It's doing it. Down in the ground. Both sides down. And he's away. I tell you what. It might be underpowered by 20 horsepower. But I think it's going to be alright. I think that that is going to be an acceptable use of power on here. I thought that tractor was going backwards. It is going backwards. They're backing up and getting into position for the next bit. Here he goes. He's spinning a little bit up here, but he's still getting through it. This pleases me immensely that this one is actually able to do this. This is, I, this, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. It's going to turn now. We're going to be left with this huge, great big patch right here that we can't do anything with. And is he going to hit that tree? You'd think you'd be a little bit brighter than that, Dopey. Now what are you doing? <laughs> He's trying to turn the plow over and is about to catapult the tractor and the plow up into the top of the, the, the world. It, it's all going to go horribly pear-shaped. Right. We let that one come. Let's... let's <laughs> okay, that didn't work quite so well as it could have done. I feel that that could have gone just a little bit better on that bit there so let's let's bring that back over here it doesn't look like this plow is entirely suited to this map we'll bring that one to there because that's where it was going to turn to anyway and we'll let it start strolling on up across the field it does work though i am pleased to say that this does work i'm i'm absolutely thrilled with this map the, the textures and everything it, it all looks great this one down here this one's looking a lot better and wait, yeah, go, on, go on, back up, go on, all the way back down there. And this this one is looking considerably better than that other tractor working. And I, I really like the look of this tractor. And also in cab, when you drive something with the cab that's far forward like that, it's just an altogether different driving experience. It's great. I love it. Um, I've never driven a tractor like that, but I have driven a few other machines like that. And it is just awesome. If you look in here... It, there's something quite amazing about being that far up front. It's just really cool. Right, uh, I want to go back to this one because we want to see this turn now. See how well it copes with it, what it's going to do. As long as he's got space, he seems to be able to do it. As long as he doesn't have any trees to confuse him or anything like that, he seems to be able to cope. And that one will fold out there, and then he's going to dump him down there and start plowing the other field, I might add. Look at that. What are you doing? That's no, you, you're not supposed to be doing that. At least the plowing is going to get done pretty quickly. I don't think anybody can deny that this plowing job is going to be over and done with pretty fast at this rate. So we've got all of these tractors here. We've got that one over there that's just slowly plodding up and down. And then we've got these others here that are really going for it. And I, yeah, th this is working really well. I just. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling really excited about this map. I'm feeling, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really quite thrilled about this whole map. And I'm hope. My plan is, like I said, we're going to plant these three fields. We're going to get all three of them planted. Oh, yeah, she's got to straight. She's done her straightening up bit, and then she'll back up down here. Um, and then she'll start plowing up across. We're going to do our... We can get these three fields planted. And then once they're planted, we'll fast forward to summer. Then we'll buy some cows. And then we're going to be doing some more work. Now, I started with uh, 2 million dollars, uh, two million euros. I've now got 300,000 because I bought a load of tractors and I bought a load of fields. So I might add between this week and next week. I may add in another million or so. Um, because I feel that really we should have come to an established farm and not... Um, been completely starting out because you know starting out is good for a much longer series but we're a short sort of highlight sequel uh, you know, highlight sequence of things that are going on it's supposed to be an established farm so um, maybe I should have bought a load of this stuff in the background beforehand but I'm quite happy with the way that we've done this in the introduction to this map because I think that this one did warrant a really good look round um, so I will yeah we will carry on with this in tomorrow's episode 
We'll get some of the ploughing done and hopefully we'll be able to get started on a little bit of the cultivating as well. We're going to get some big cultivators. We're, we're, we're going to go we're, we're go big. We're going to go really, really big. And, I mean, looking at the cultivators, there's a couple that I'd like to use. I'm not all that concerned about the big bud stuff on here. I mean, really, there's no way we're going to get that through the map anyway. That one there, the Bednar, we could probably fit that one in. And then you've got the all-rounder there, which is the base game one. That would be pretty good to get in. Uh, Lemkin as well. That would be another good one to bring through. But, no, what I was really hoping for in this one was something from the Horsch DLC. Uh, we've got those two there, which are slightly smaller ones, uh, but it's that bad boy right there. I want to have that one running in our fields. This is a monster cultivator. It's an absolute beast of a cultivator, and I'd like to get that one running in this map if we can. So we'll probably try to go for that one, cultivate the three fields with that one. Uh, it's only 65,000. That does surprise me. I didn't think it would be that cheap, so we may be able just to buy that one and not worry about it. Um... Or we could lease. I mean, we bought this lot. The only one that we leased is the giant plough over there. And, yeah, once that one's done that field, we'll be sending that one back. We're not going to be using that one again. Anyway, we really have run out of time for today's episode. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.